Garmin's fitness age is a metric that lets you know how fit you are compared to your actual age. There are a couple of ways this is calculated, and it depends on which Garmin watch you own. I've had a Forerunner 935 for several years. In my early 50s and with a VO2 max that fluctuated between excellent and superior for my age, the watch would tell me my fitness was the equivalent to someone in their 20s. That was very nice to hear, even if it did sound a bit unrealistic. In late 2021, Garmin revamped the metric for a select group of watches. Now, fitness age is not based only on your VO2 max, but also on several other factors. It is also not as generous when telling you how old you are fitness-wise. So now, older Garmin devices continue to display fitness age using VO2 max. This is the simplified figure that is very generous when it comes to estimating how you compare with others. This metric can fluctuate quite a bit because the only factor it depends on is your VO2 max. Basically, all that metric does is reinterpret your VO2 max score in terms of age in order to make it more relatable. Perhaps this is why Garmin has revamped the metric for the latest crop of its watches to take account of Mayo Clinic recommendations. Their fitness age calculation now takes into consideration activity intensity, resting heart rate and body fat percentage or body mass index, BMI. Let's refer to this as improved fitness age or fitness age 2.0. To view the metric, simply go to Garmin Connect, select performance stats, VO2 max, view your fitness age. On the web, you can find it if you go to all activities, VO2 max, view your fitness age. On a compatible watch, go to Menu, Health Stats, Fitness Age. A benefit of the revamped calculations is that Garmin will spit out recommendations on how you can improve your fitness age. This could be by reducing your BMI, reducing body fat, increasing the number of vigorous days, lowering your resting heart rate, and more. Garmin also lets you know which of your stats are on target for your age. Just keep maintaining those. All of these contributing factors are self-explanatory, and there are various things you can do to improve the metrics. It basically boils down to exercising regularly, eating well, getting enough sleep, reducing stress, and maintaining a healthy weight. The smartphone app and web software will let you view seven-day, four-week, and yearly charts on how your fitness age has changed. This is useful for following trends. It is worth noting you must have a Garmin Index Smart Scale to receive a body fat percentage measurement. Sure, you can link up other scales to Garmin Connect, but they will only sync weight, not body fat. In that case, Garmin will take your BMI into consideration instead of body fat, which can be a bit misleading because you can have high BMI due to muscle, not fat. So for most precise fitness age calculations, it is recommended you link up a Garmin scale. The other bit of bad news for those of us who have grown used to the old fitness age metric is that it is not as easy to lower your fitness age. Garmin will spit out an achievable age which is up to 10 years lower than your actual age, so there is a limit, which means if you are in your 40s and 50s, no matter how hard you try, Garmin will not say you have the fitness level of a 20-year-old. Perhaps saying that would be a bit unrealistic, so it is just as well. I didn't question it before because why would I not want to be as fit as someone so much younger? The improved fitness age metric aged me badly. But this goes to show you should not put too much stock into these types of calculations. A simple change in the way Garmin calculates the metric can vastly change your perceived fitness age. It is never a good idea to become addicted to these types of tools.